Hokies. It's an honor for me to speak with you today as we embark on a new year of opportunities and growth as a department, a university, and the Hokie Nation. There's no doubt that we're living through unprecedented times, but we continue to focus on our mission and we look forward to better days ahead. I wanna thank everyone who has reached out, who has been engaged through our town halls and other virtual alumni events, and most importantly, for supporting our students in so many ways. It's been inspiring to see how our students, staff, and faculty have adapted and persevered with focus and energy during the pandemic. As you can imagine, it was no small feat to move all of our courses online within a couple of weeks when we were faced with that charge last March. And we continue to do almost all of our teaching online during this academic year as well. I'm proud to say that our students have risen to the challenge with a focus on learning and a positive attitude, as is typical of Hokies everywhere. Before the pandemic hit, we'd been looking forward to this academic year with great anticipation, with several special events planned for our 50th birthday. The department was officially established in 1970, so our alumni relations team had been working on a momentous celebration to invite everyone back to campus this past October. Those plans are obviously on hold, but we do look forward to the time when we can all be back together safely to mark this significant milestone in person. In the meantime, we will be offering a series of special opportunities to celebrate our 50th remotely. Each month during this spring semester, we will be bringing you virtual 50th anniversary programming, including alumni and faculty panels and a virtual student research showcase. Be watching for some doses of nostalgia and other surprises as well. Virginia Tech is on the brink of an amazing decade and the Department of Computer Science is central to our planning and growth. Congratulations on celebrating 50 years as a department, a foundation that will serve Virginia Tech well for the future. I'm proud to share that our computer science programs, both undergraduate and graduate, are now the largest in the college and growing rapidly. Last year, we saw the largest computer science graduating class with a record 311 undergraduate degrees in addition to 49 masters and 28 PhDs awarded. We commend all of our graduates who finished the semester strong despite many challenges. We stand here today thanks to the tremendous leadership and vision of the faculty, staff, and students who launched this department back in 1970. Of course, we all wish our founding department head, the late George Gorsline, could see what has transpired from the department's humble beginnings in a trailer by the duck pond. In fact, it was not until 1972 when McBride Hall was completed that the department had its first long-term home. And speaking of McBride, we do still have a small presence in that building, but I wanna welcome you to our new undergraduate student services office in Torgerson Hall. We've just finished an extensive remodeling project in this space and other new CS space in Torgerson. We're excited to welcome students into these areas for the first time this semester with new offices for our academic advisors, a new student collaboration area, dedicated space for teaching assistants, and a new CS tutoring center and additional faculty offices. Two additional building projects are underway as well with exciting space implications for the department. In the next two to three years, we look forward to moving faculty and graduate students into a new Gilbert Street building and to the new Data and Decision Sciences building, which will then allow us to locate all of the Blacksburg part of our department on the main campus and also allow us to continue to grow as the university is planning. As Cal shared, we're truly building the future together. Not only are we transforming the landscape on the Blacksburg campus, we're redefining a new chapter of graduate education in Northern Virginia with our new innovation campus. With planning launched in 2019 and a large state investment in growing the tech talent pipeline, we look forward to opening our new campus in fall 2024. This past fall, we welcomed our first virtual cohort of students in the Computer Science Master of Engineering program, the first new degree developed for the innovation campus. While the Alexandria campus will not open officially for a few years, we're not waiting to have an impact. We need the best talent, the best faculty, the best students, and we're already working to scale our operation. 
But to do that and to serve our statewide and national needs, we need fresh ideas, new tools, and powerful partnerships. We're bold in our drive and determination to build a new approach to graduate education, one that connects closely with industry and public service to prepare the next generation of leaders. In fact, we plan to graduate approximately 750 master's students per year by 2028 and train hundreds of doctoral students and postdoctoral fellows. With our innovation campus, Virginia Tech is driving change. Our collective future depends on our success to create and harness technology for global good. Talented faculty are, of course, a key driver to the success of the academic enterprise. Last year, we had a banner year for faculty recruitment, filling 12 positions with eight members already in place. This level of hiring is a tremendous boost to the department and will need to continue if we're to meet our goals. Finally, I want to thank each of you for being invested in the work we do. I feel truly honored to serve as the College of Engineering Dean, knowing how much opportunity and growth awaits us. So there is much to work on and much to be grateful for. And above all, we're proud and grateful for all of our more than 7,000 alumni and many other friends. Together, we can continue to build on a 50-year legacy of excellence and innovation in computing. Thank you for everything you do to help us serve our students and our world. This is our moment to elevate computer science and integrate it broadly into the fabric of the College of Engineering. I know the department, its students, faculty, and alumni will collectively rise to the occasion. I can't wait to see what we build as we look toward the next 50 years.